done it now. What did I do? I don't know. All I know is I got a call from the DA. Old deputies, the DA himself called and told me to get up to his office and bring that bleeping, bleeping cop with me, meaning you. Oh, Rappert. I've studied the case file. He's, he's got enough to indict. He's got fingerprints that place the suspect at the scene of the crime at the time of the murder. A suspect, a suspect previously charged with sex crimes. A suspect who admits that he was there, but he claims he doesn't remember what happened. He might have killed her, he might not have. Does the lieutenant here believe he did it? No. He thinks I did it. Why? Because I had a private investigator confirm that the woman that I loved was having an affair with another man, and I chose not to reveal the sordid details of that investigation to the police. Well, what else have you... Oh, corks. Champagne corks, right? Corks was one star, two stars. He's got a, a cork from a bottle of champagne that he paid $175 for with taxpayers' money. And why did he do that? Because he saw a similar bottle in my, uh, in my wine vault. Oh, you, you want to tell that to a jury? Go ahead, go ahead and indict me. Well, let's just see what happens when uh, my colleague from Idaho here and my, my partner get the lieutenant on the stand with the, his corks and his uh, $175 bottle of champagne. All right, you, you got anything else, lieutenant, anything at all? Just little things, a lot of little things, nothing that's going to stand up in court, but I know well, he did it. I know he killed that girl. See, that's now you know what kind of lunatic I'm dealing with here. I mean, he's got lots of little things, but he knows that I killed Marcy? He knows that? I'd be very happy, sir, if you could prove that I was wrong. Well, just how could I do that, Lieutenant? By just telling me where you were when Miss Edwards was killed. Oh, now. Mr. Crichton's not here to answer any questions, Lieutenant. Well, that's right, but maybe we can clear this thing up. Huh? No, no, no. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the time of death was Wednesday between 3 and 4. Is that correct, Lieutenant? That's correct, sir. Well, I was in my car. In your car? Yeah. Alone? Alone. Nobody was with you? Nobody with me. And where were you? I was uh, driving back to my office. I'd been at the uh, Huntington Museum. Oh, but that's in Pasadena, isn't it? Well, that's right, Lieutenant. Pasadena's 50 miles from the beach, Lieutenant. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. While you were driving, did you see anybody that could identify you? While I was driving? Yes. No, no, Lieutenant, I didn't. Did you stop in a gasoline station or anything like that? No. Did you get a cup of coffee? No. Did you make or receive any telephone calls from your car phone? If you did, sir, the phone company would, would have, have a, a record. record of it. No calls, you. No phone calls. None at all? None. Then you have no alibi. No, Everett, no, I, I have no alibi. So what are you going to do? You got to choose now, don't you? Let me tell you something. That woman meant everything to me. And I would hate to see her name smeared across my pages. And that's up to you. The ball is in your court. You, I mean, we've got these corks. You don't have an alibi. No, 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 no. Let me take that back, okay? Don't think about it. I'll just see you in court. It'll be fun. Hugh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just a minute. What time did you say Marcy was killed? Between three and four, ma'am. And that's what he said. Between three and four, he was in Pasadena. There's no question about it. This proves it. Just look at it. Whoops. <laughs> you want to let us in on it, you? Yes, I think I do. Hey, why don't you take that over there to him? It's a speeding ticket he got in Pasadena, which proves he was a long way from the beach house at 3.33 p.m. on Wednesday. He got a speeding ticket around about the time that Miss Edwards was killed? And you waited till now to bring it out? I just got it in the mail this morning. It's a good thing I remembered it. In the mail? It's a speeding ticket. How no, do you get no, the no. mail? It's not the kind of ticket you get when a policeman stops you and gives it to you. It's a new gadget. I mean, there's a picture here. They take it while you're, while you're speeding, and 
They send it to you in the mail. Not, uh, not a very good picture of me, is it, Lieutenant? But uh, yet there, there I am, caught in a Pasadena speed trap. Well, I, I think it's precisely at the hour you were hoping I was at the beach, right? Huh. Any more, any more questions? No, no, no more questions. <laughs> I guess you win again. I guess I do, Lieutenant. Oh, but you know, I, there's one thing that bothers me. That that ticket now, I, just, I don't see any way of beating that. This, this may be the first case I ever lost in my life. Well. <laughs> oh, bye, Everett. One more thing.